time being at least, a UK military intervention seems unlikely. Why are we doing this outside? I'm just, well, because it's cold and it's starting to rain and we can easily do it from a studio. I'm just wondering what, yeah, well, that's very easy for you to say in your ivory tower. I'm just wondering, what, really? Really? Okay, do you hear what he just said? Do you hear what he, he just said, why don't you, for once in your life, just do the fucking news? All right, no, 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 no. I'm gonna do, no, I'm gonna do the fucking news. No, here is the fucking news. Ex-commercial TV PR man, old Etonian and occasional pig fucker David Cameron would like to bomb Syria. Unfortunately, Russia's got there first and America's been doing it for ages. He wants to bomb Syria to stop the flow of refugees fleeing all the bombs. He's also hoping it will stop the increased influence of Islamic extremism. Bombing Syria will of course destroy the one remaining multicultural society in the region, leaving it open to the increased influence of Islamic extremism. To bomb Syria, therefore, is clearly mental. In other news, no, 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 I'm doing, no, I'm doing the, I'm doing the fucking news. In other news, in other news, Muslims are bad, China's bad, but not as bad as it used to be, and Russia is always bad. Nuclear weapons are good, and to suggest not using nuclear weapons is bad. Onto the economy, debt is good. Corrupt banks are bad, but not bad enough for us to do anything about them, and poverty in the UK is a figment of your imagination. Onto housing, Jeremy Corbyn's plans to build affordable housing and create social housing for the poorest people in our society is a terrible idea. That's according to multi-millionaire, property magnet, and all-round shitpot Sir Alan Sugar. Environmental news, there's nothing to worry about, so please carry on consuming at your usual rate. And finally tonight, entertainment. Matt Damon's intelligent and articulate observations about sexuality in Hollywood means that he is definitely a homophobic twat. My name is Jonathan Pye, and that was the fucking news! Yes, yes, I'm here, yes, yes, yep, yes, yeah, yeah, yes, well with the Conservative Party conference starting this